Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Elite. welcome back to another video and today we got the 80 plus upgrade we're going to be talking about is this SBC worth doing, um, how can you grind this SBC, which ways have people been doing it, and also some trading tips and investments that have come with this due to the market changes. So if you do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. So first and foremost, what is it, what do you need, and why should you do it? So the 80 plus upgrade, if we go in, is available 100 times for 90 days down to 89 now um, only needs silver players and you need eight in the squad now pay attention it says minimum is silver i'm going to show you why this is important at first people thought it was just silvers needed so the price of silvers have actually skyrocketed quite a bit before everything was 600 plus now it's down to 500 plus within the hour and about 450 selling instantly so if you go off that 500 price point times eight you're looking at most 4k to complete this spc now, if you're doing this and buying it out, if you're one of those people, it's going to cost you 400k to get all these done. Is that a good deal? No, that is not a good deal whatsoever. You could do it even cheaper if you wanted to. Going to Gold Commons, max price 300 or 350, max bid that. It's going to get a lot cheaper for you to do. Save a lot of coins there if your goal is to buy it out. However, I'm going to show you some different ways you can grind it that um, is going to be very useful for you to save coins and potentially get them done throughout the course of the next couple of weeks or so leading up to team of the year. But something important that comes with it and why this might be a good SBC for you to do is there is an SBC Centurions upgrade chase that you can complete all the way through up to 100 times and you get objective rewards. So I've already done this quite a bit. 20 times through, get yourself a, what does that say? 83 plus double player pack. I'm going to personally save this for team of the year. I'd recommend you guys do the same. For 40, you get an 84 plus rare gold player. Not the craziest thing in the world, but it's going to get even better here. Six, you get an 81 plus times 11. We've seen this come out quite a bit. Might not be the best pack in the world, but if you open these uh, enough times through all these different objectives, something's bound to hit, whether it's a team of the year, whether it's a high rated card that you can put into an SBC like a good icon. All this is going to be important and in the long run lead to good things packed during team of the year or whenever you choose to open it. 80 is going to get you a jumbo rare players pack and then an ultimate pack for 100. Group reward is a premium gold players pack. I don't know why they chucked that at the end for the group reward. I, I Maybe do another ultimate pack or something or maybe like, a, I don't know, 83 times 25 would be something cool. Uh, but yeah, definitely you should get this done throughout the course of the next 89 days it's available. But I'm going to show you the number one way to get this done and then we'll go into some trading tips and investments as well. So for the next 10 days, we have the winter bronze upgrade still out. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a better version of this upgrade section, which is the bronze upgrade, where in the past you'd put 11 bronze players in, typically through the bronze pack method, and you'd get two players back, one a silver rare and one a silver common. For the next 10 days, these are still available. You'll get four players back, two rares and two commons, which if you look at what is needed for the 80 plus upgrade, you get two of those done. Um, you'll get eight total silvers. If you have no duplicates whatsoever, you could throw all eight silvers in and you wouldn't have to pay a single penny more to get the 80 plus upgrade done. And with the um, ability to spam BPM over and over again, that's a really easy way for you guys to uh, get this done throughout the course of, for that SBC, the next 10 days, if you really want to use uh, the winter um, bronze upgrade to get the double bonus, but also to the bronze upgrade when that goes away. Now, what is the best way to go about doing bronze pack method? Right now, with the amount that's been spammed, an interesting thing has happened on the market. Typically, you see uh, bronze rares have quite a bit of value. Now, a bunch of them are going for only 200 within the hour, and a lot of them you might have to realist it to sell for that price. If you are someone who's looking for an investment or a trading tip, I'd highly recommend picking up a bunch of bronze rares for 150. Anytime that we get an icon SBC that comes out that people like doing, there's always a bronze rare team and a silver rare team that you need to complete in order to get the icon done. And typically this sends bronze rare prices up to 400 to 600 coins, typically goes towards 600 right away, and then works its way down to 400. So if you're doing the math there, if you're picking these up for 150, 200 coins, you could be doubling your coins or tripling your coins. Now, when it comes to selling these as well, doing BPM, if you have the resources to hold, I'd recommend doing the same thing. If you sold for 200 coins now, that's one thing, but an easy way to get even more coins back from BPM, if I'm packing hundreds of these bronze rares, and I know they're only going for 200 within the hour, just store them in your club and wait for it to go up. If you're low on coins, 
obviously sell it now uh, but we got things like sudamericana and other league svc cards that will help you immensely get some coins back this looks like it's going for 600 or so within the hour i'm gonna put it to 550 we had the other bronze work sell i'm just gonna quick sell these other items to get 174 coins back you do that over and over and you're going to be able to get yourself a bunch of that winter bronze upgrade done now what is the market effect of this and what is some things you should look out for when grinding this SBC or looking for some ways to make coins in between this has significantly taken the price of league SBCs down quite a bit i'm going to show you guys that right now we're going to pull up in a couple so uh where is it here's the winter league upgrade uh this libertadores and sudamericana squad used to be like 18k it's now down to almost 10k if you look at the prices in the last 72 hours today when the sbc came out at new content this sbc was almost 25k it has dropped significantly we're going to see if this will rebound at all but if you're someone who wants to make a bunch of packs for team of the year this might be a good time to do this sbc reason why is a lot of the people spamming bronze packs or packing those libertadores and sudamericana players who used to be like a thousand plus coins now they're down to like 500 600 it's really taken off a lot of value to them and a lot of the solutions are using bronze cards which is also uh, reflected in the silver rare market which i'm going to show you here in a second if you know i've been doing a lot of libertadores trading on this channel we have a video in the trading playlist if you want to check it out i've been selling a lot of these libertadores cards on for 2000 plus coins a lot of them we were picking up for 1300 the other day but now that this sbc is out everyone's been spamming bpm for league sbcs people don't need the silvers as much because they're using the bronze because they're cheaper this has dropped their price down significantly we've been picking these up closer to 1k but that's something to keep an eye on if you're someone who's doing the libertadores method with silvers maybe invest in these at under a thousand coins storm in your club and wait for them to rebound in price i already know a bunch of these are selling still for um 1800 1900 and some are still going for 2k plus so make sure you check each card individually uh before you sell it because uh, there's still a lot of coins there what is the other one looking like so that was the um normal winter league upgrade the one i like doing is the premium winter league upgrade and for this this used to be um closer to 35k it's dropped down to under 30 now to 28k the most expensive team was the league one in air to v's which is down to 8k now if you remember there was a lot of silver air to visas that we were sniping on the market because they were 2k plus and if we picked them up under 1500 coins on snipes we were getting good deals and saving a lot of coins for the sbcs now a bunch of these cards are under a thousand coins and as you see here same thing happened today new content came out that sbc dropped and this price has significantly gone down so that's something to keep in mind it looks like it's starting to tiptoe back up if that reaches the point of 30k plus again you could see a lot of those silvers rebound so if you're someone who went super hard on silver air to beast before or silver league one or silver libertadores all those kind of league svc cards it wouldn't be a bad idea to store those in your club if you don't think they can get any lower and sell them when they go up also to sell them when they get in the svc solutions i don't want to sound like a broken record but just because the market is down in general doesn't mean that you can not make coins this guy was in an svc solution i picked him up for a thousand coins earlier today sold them for more than double at 2.1 so it is still possible there's still a ton of deals out there so long story short what would i recommend every single person should get that sbc done a hundred times the rate you want to do it that's up to you if you don't care about the winter bronze upgrade where it makes it a lot easier to do bpm feel free to slowly do this throughout the next 89 days and get it done i really think everyone should hold for team of the year though and really craft it by team of the year so i'm personally going to be getting it done in the next couple days spam and bpm um you could do half and half if you wanted to you could mass bet on gold commons or if you see those silvers drop in price if you can end up bidding like 150 to 200 coins on them it'd make it relatively cheap to do if you want to put a little bit of coins into that that's your prerogative you don't necessarily have to it's up to you at the end of the day i just think bpm is a relatively easy way to do it but yeah get that done i also you have the 100 players upgrade if you guys didn't see it before this is going to be a fun thing to grind as well um 85 rated team 84 rated team 83 rated team heck if you wanted to open that right now you get 20 more silver players you could chuck that into the sbc too but that would be one i would hold for team of the year um if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know uh we will be doing this upgrade a lot we'll be spamming league sbcs too quite a bit i want to get over 1,000 packs made for team of the year 
Um, I believe the full team of the year will start on the 26th. Start a team of the year is the January 20th. Um, so I'll keep making packs throughout that. We're almost on 500. Uh, my goal is to be hopefully making a crap ton if today, Monday, the day I'm putting this video up, we get a good repeatable upgrade like the 378 plus player pack. That was a really good value one. Hopefully we get that again. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll catch you guys next time. It's been your boy Mumble Leap. I'm out. God bless.